Hey everyone, my name is Root, and we are here. This is going to be week number 10, I believe, of the PCL, and we are up against Kohan. Um, now, this is going to be a really interesting matchup. He took over a team. I haven't been able to see how he plays with this team. Um, I believe he made a few changes to it, but uh, it's really not something that I am that I feel really confident going into. He um, has a very bad matchup for me, I think. 100% my matchup is not great. So we have the Weavile, Togekiss, Feromosa... Tangrowth, Mega Aggron, and Arcanine. So right off the bat, no Gastrodon. No Gastrodon is kind of nuts. Um, no Masharna. No Masharna is huge. No Drapion. No Latias. Or sorry, Latios. Um, that means both of his Z-Move users are not in this match. No Heliolis, which is kind of wild. Um, but yeah, a lot of mods that I would kind of expect. A lot of mods that I would kind of expect. Part of me really just wants to lead off with Pyroar, perhaps. Part of me also maybe just wants to lead off with Electros is always a good lead. Maybe Magearna. No. Mm. I think I'm going to lead off with the Pyroar. Seeing this team of six is interesting. I don't know if I feel good about it yet. I feel like this is manageable. Um... If he, if he also had the Latios and the Masharna, that would be super... That would be a little more, bit more difficult. I'm not too, too sure. Um, Manectric can have a pretty decent time here. Maybe I should have let off with Manectric. Manectric is probably a better, a better lead. But it's okay. We're here with a Scarfed uh, Pyroar. Um, pretty much just four attacks, Scarfed Pyroar. Uh, no matter what he leads off with, I would feel really confident... Actually, he doesn't have Gastrodon, so Fire Blast is the freest it can possibly be. I don't know if you would expect me to be Scarfed, but I'm gonna... I feel like I should just go for a Fire Blast. Hopefully I land it, but the Aggron switching would be unfortunate. Well, mm. alright, I'm just gonna click Fire Blast. We're gonna see if we can hit it. We should theoretically outspeed this thing. He's gonna know that I'm Scarfed turn one, but at this point... I don't feel like I should care. I'm gonna lock in my Pyroar to the Calc to see if I can figure anything out, but uh, any Aquaberry is, is gonna be turned off. Even if this thing is max HP, yeah, Fire Blast should do the thing. Does withdraw. As I stay in, goes into the Arcanine. I'm curious to see if this is Flash Fire. Is, it is Intimidate, okay. So, maybe I should have gone for the Hyper Voice. Maybe I definitely should have gone for the Hyper Voice. But, it's okay. We're going to do about a quarter. So, let's see. Arcanine. Oh, that is for sure max special defense. That's almost definitely... Maybe not max special... Mm, it's probably max special defense. It's Or close to it. Um, There's probably no reason for me to stay in here. There's probably no reason for me to stay in here. What would he do? Does he have the... Um... What's the... What's the move called? Does he have the... What's the move called? Bulldoze. Uh, does he have the bulldoze? That would be super interesting, but I'm going into the to Tox... Tox I'm going into the Tentacruel regardless. I oh, mean, they're the same typing, you know? What, 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 what are you gonna do? I get confused a lot. Also, I am uh, in a weird headspace. Uh, I don't really feel too too prepared for this matchup, but I still like the matchup. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this matchup. Now, does he have the bulldoze? Goes for the will o' wisp. Interesting. What did he expect me to go into? Maybe the, maybe the coma. Oh no. I don't know. Maybe just wonder will o' wisp something. Not too too sure. Uh, can I scald here? I kind of can. I kind of can. I can click Toxic as well. Actually, Toxic is super free. I'm going to click Toxic. Because he would either want to go into the Togekiss or the Tangro. And regardless, getting a... Or, or staying with the Arcanine. If he clicks Bulldoze, then fine. But uh, no, no matter what, clicking Toxic here feels super duper free. He could go into Pheromosa and start, like, Quiver Dancing or something, but... Actually, Quiver Dance is really scary. 
Uh, I don't really have much for a for Quiver Dance to pair Mosey. If it's like HP Fire qu uh, Quiver Dance, but um, I don't know. Hopefully, I can outlast it. I mean, I probably take one hit with Interpol, and then and then between Scald and uh, Scald and Toxic, I'm able to take it out eventually. But regardless, um, I don't know. Do, do people really run Quiver Dance Fire Mosey, or is that just a thing that I built up in my head that people do? Um, there's probably I don't know. Is it a thing? Mm. I would do it. I feel like I would do it. Hey man, if I'm playing a season with, uh, with like what, like 12 weeks? You gotta do it at some point, right? But, uh, okay, switches out. Actually, yeah, no, this is how loopy I was. I was very strongly considering a special, or a special Crocodile for this matchup. Um, but we, but we do get the Toxic off. Uh, I don't think we have anything to hit this thing with. This thing, I believe... I don't remember the full set. Uh, Toxic, Rapid Spin, Scald, and Giga Drain for the, um... Gastrodon. So, I don't know how concerned I should be. Also, this thing is not Liquid Ooze, which it should have been. But maybe I can get him to fear Liquid Ooze? Maybe it did make a Liquid Ooze and I just... Oh, yeah, I'm definitely clear body. So, I don't... I, th I think regardless, being a Tentacruel, it's going to prevent him from wanting to Leech Seed. But it would help me out a lot if I was actually Liquid Ooze. Um, I don't know what I should click here. I really think he wants to Leech Seed, assuming that I want to switch out. But I feel like I don't lose anything by staying in and Scalding. Maybe he goes for the Earthquake here. Earthquake would be really interesting, but I don't know. I'm not. I I don't see that happening. I'm just gonna click Scald. If anything, just to gauge damage. I probably can't gauge damage uh, with that. Goes for a knockoff. So that's fair enough. But what? That was about like five percent. Yeah, that's that's in line with a with an assault vest, a toxic, a toxic. Why? Wow, Tangrowth. I guess like the mods that I'm saying like sound right in my head, kind of a little bit, but. I don't know what I'm doing here. I feel like it might be worth switching out into Como -Oh here. I don't know what he would want to do here. Well, see, if I continually Scald, it prevents him from wanting to switch out, which is going to deal more damage in the longer run to this thing. But Tentacruel is also really good for the long run in this match that... Um, now, you know what? I'm going to go into... Hmm. I'm going to go into Electros here. Now, I did try to sc 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 speed creep a little bit. I do have 20 EVs into speed just for this um, outspeed here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I almost went into my Manectric, but I didn't because of the potential Earthquake play. Now, I definitely click U-Turn. I 100% click U-Turn. I should outspeed ever so slightly, but regardless, I don't think it matters. If he switches out, then uh, I get initiative, and if he stays in, then I can go back into Tentacruel as he, uh, I assume, would try to, um, I assume would try to, uh, Earthquake again or some, or Toxic, I should say, sorry. But there's the U-turn. Now, I can go... What do I want to try with to deal with this Arcanine with? Hmm. Actually, I think I think my best play is for sure this Manectric. Um, I can Volt Switch out. I think. I feel like there's no reason not to just want to Volt Switch out in this situation. Man, but I really do want to just click Thunderbolt, though. Thunderbolt would be... Hmm. What would he go for? Just Flamethrower? Flare Bliss is going to be super weakened. He's probably not even invested. Um...
Let me see here. See, I, hmm. I really do want to click Thunderbolt here. I think I'm going to click Thunderbolt here. I'm going to click Thunderbolt. I think I could take any one hit fine. Um, I would be surprised if this uh, Arcanine is offensively invested at all. And I think it opens me up to be able to Volt Switch next turn. And unfortunately, the thing is that I don't want to let my Manectric take too much damage because... Um... Oh, wow, that is very specially defensive. That is very specially defensive. I feel like that has to be... Um... Yeah, that's just max special defense. I could try to U-turn out, and then what would that do for me? U-turn would allow me out into... Sorry, not U-turn. Volt Switch would allow me out into Electros, I think. I'm going to click... Yeah, I'm going to click Volt Switch. This Arcanine is actually going to be really difficult for me to break through. He could will o -Wisp me as well just for residual damage, I guess. But um, Flamethrower does feel more likely to me. Um, my thinking here is that I would want to go into the Tentacruel and probably double switch out on a potential... On a potential... Um... Tangrowth switch in. I think... Yeah, I don't know. Tangrowth is not the best answer for my, for my Tentacruel, but I think it's... The best one he has right now. I'm going to double. I'm for sure going to double. Into... What, Electros? No, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go into Coma-O. I'm gonna go into Coma-O. Show me the switch out. Yeah, okay. Now, here, now here's the other thing. I really came really close to bringing a, a sub... Um, Coma O specifically for this matchup. Um, I do have to see whether or not this thing would have. I do have to see whether or not this thing would have a. A. Um. Toxic or Elite Seed for this matchup, but I came so, so very close to bringing a sub on this thing for this matchup. I didn't feel like the matchup worked out well for me. Um, Arcanine is probably his best play, I would have to guess. Does allow me to go for an Autotomize. Probably has Leech Seed. I'm guessing Leech Seed or Toxic comes out here. Uh, Hidden Power. That's interesting. So that's his best move to hit me with. And I might just have to burn Z poison right now is that even worth it where is como so regular poison jab should do close to half i think i just go for regular poison jab here Only because I would kind of think that the Arcanine wants to come in here. So if I really think that, then I would go for Drain Punch, wouldn't I? Hmm, maybe I do go for Drain Punch. I'm gonna go for Drain Punch. Does withdraw. Probably brings in the Arcanine, right? Has to bring in the Arcanine. Yeah, he for sure wants to Will-O-Wisp me right now. But, that, mm. 
Arcanine. Could I Z poison jab this thing? No, I can't. I assume he's going to try to Will-O-Wisp. And just goes for the Morning Sun. So I really could have just gone for the Acid Downpour. I'm super curious as to whether or not he wants to stay in here. But um, clicking Hyper Voice might just be my best play possible. Or maybe Dark Pulse. Is, Dark Pulse is probably better, right? No, Hyper Voice is definitely better. Yeah, there's no way he would want it. He would willingly like, switch into the Aggron right now. So, at the very least, for right now, I think I should be able to get at least one big hit off and hopefully try to damage this thing for the later game. I just have to break one of this combination of Aggron and Arcanine, and I think I have a really good chance here, but um, I'm just in a really awkward position here. That I really have to break. I have to break this Arcanine somehow. And unfortunately, I didn't. I brought Autotomize. Um. Autotomize. Como instead of Dragon Dance, which I think is gonna super duper hurt me. But. What can I do here? I think straight up I have to toxic this. I, I think straight up I have to toxic this um this Arcanine. I don't want to waste my Electros, but I need to figure out a way to get this thing toxic. And Fire Blast is still doing really respectable damage. Fire Blast is still doing really respectable damage. As much as I want to like expect him to switch out and click U-turn, I have to feel like I have to click Toxic here. And if he scouts us out, then that's going to give him a whole bunch of information for the later game. I don't really have a great way to deal with this Arcanine. Goes for Morning Sun. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. Letting me get this Toxic off right now. That's pretty wild. And now I have to click Super Fang. He could try to burn me or something, but clicking Super Fang is the best thing that I could do right now. Dust in and go for another Fire Blast. Man, if I have to trade away Eel for Arcanine, that is the most worth trade that I think I can make right now. Now I don't have to do anything but click Super Fang. Well, he's going to probably take me out with this next Fire Blast. Maybe I switch out into Tentacruel just to mess with him a little bit. I think I do do that. I wouldn't be surprised if he switches out here. Maybe try to Morning Sun off some on off on something later in the match. But getting that Toxic off on this Arcanine, I think, is going to give me everything that I really need. Yeah, it does withdraw. So maybe he's just trying to. Get, give himself a beast boost here. But unless it's a speed beast boost, then part of me doesn't think I care. I don't know. I think... I think no matter what he does here, unless he goes for super aggressive... Um, for super aggressive, like, Quiver Dance setup, then I think I can... Deal with this with Magirna. This could be Quiver Dance HP Fire again. I I mean I've already said that, but um 
Having this not be the fastest thing on his goes for the drill run. Okay. So we'll probably get to plus one attack, I would have to guess. Uh, does raise speed. That's super interesting. So could this thing be banded? Wait, no, that's life orb because uh, that recoil. Okay. Feramosa. Life orb with drill run. With drill run against Magirna. Yeah, I should take that fine and then Dazzling Gleam, yeah. But that was a very good bring. That was admittedly a crazy good bring. And here's where I really wish that I had, um, where I really wish I had, um, Volt Switch. But unfortunately, I can't mess around with this and it goes for the U-turn, yeah. He's probably going to be able to weaken me down over time. But he's also going to get weakened over time. I can probably deal with this. I don't know. Um, okay, I'm surprised he didn't want to go into Arcanine here. Now, it does eat the Dazzling Gleam, but I do have the Aura Sphere, and I will be able to go for that as it Mega Evolves, and probably clicks Earthquake, but realistically, I need this to be able to deal with, um, I need this to be able to deal with, um, the Pheromosa later. I need to ensure that even if I, I I don't have a Dragon Dance up, or an Autotomize up with Como, that I can deal with that Pheromosa, so. I have to make a super safe play, and I think the only thing that this thing would want to hit me with is the, um, Earthquake, maybe the Heavy Slam, but that's what Electros is here for, to eat that hit and be able to move on here. But let's see, Agron. A super defensive Mega Aggron. I am super curious to see whether or not he goes for the Earthquake or the Heavy Slam. I don't really know how he likes to play, so whatever he goes for is going to be super interesting. This is going to be a super long match. Goes for Stealth Rocks. That is very interesting. That is very interesting. My removal is gone, and that's going to it's gonna hurt Pyroar, but I think Pyroar can deal with it. Uh, Drain Punch is not doing much at all. I think Super Fang is pretty free. I think Super Fang is pretty free. And then, I think the only move you would have to hit me with is Heavy Slam, unless he also has Toxic. If he has Toxic, then that's unfortunate, but... Um... I think I can deal with that? Question mark? I don't know. I don't know. The interesting thing is that I think now with that damage onto Arcanine, Pyroar ultimately still wins in this matchup, but I have to play this out super well. He doesn't have any opportunity to kind of healing wish off, so whatever Super Fang damage I get off on this Aggron is going to be permanent, unless he wants to switch out right now, um, but he doesn't have any good options to want to switch into here. Unless Togekiss is sub... Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I straight up just went for Super Fang, and no matter what, I think Drain Punch gives me a really good follow-up play, or Toxic, depending on if he wants to switch into something crazy. It does withdraw, so... I will get a very decent amount onto this uh, Tangrowth. And I can, I don't know, I, I'm not even sure if Drain Punch is worth it in this context. But I also don't want to get knocked off. Tangrowth. 
yeah, I don't think it's ever going to be worth it to just stay in and drain punch, but you turn, uh, we'll do a decent amount of damage. And it will let me go into something. It's still probably too early with to, to go into coma O. I think I, I honestly think he just went for knockoff. Um because Earthquake doesn't do anything. And I can't even remember what other moves I've seen so far. Maybe it's time to set up a shift here with Magirna. Maybe it is that time. If I get up two shift gears, then... Oh, does go for the Earthquake. That is bananas. Zero percent of me thought he would do that. So now that puts me in a very dangerous territory against this Pheromosa. That puts me in ridiculously ridiculously dangerous territory against the Pheromosa. So what does that mean that I do? Pheromosa might be in a position to beat me now. Does withdraw. Go straight into this. So he would have let me get up a, a shift gear. This match instantly just got so much harder with that Earthquake call. I think now, I think now he's in a position where he thinks I'm going to super fang. Mm. He said he doesn't want to take a super fang with anything, though. I think he switches out again, right? I'm going to play U-turn. Does withdraw. Goes into the Pheromosa. And this will let me go into this is my only option right now. And Fire Blast deals a whole lot of damage to everything on his team. Uh, it's really going to depend on how much damage Arcanine was at when I left it, but if I if I had rocks, then uh, that would be pretty great for me. But two Fire Blasts plus around a round of Toxic might just do it. We're just going to have to see. We're just going to have to see here. Togekiss could definitely be an option, but maybe the Togekiss is defensive. Maybe the Togekiss is not built to, hand, to 1v1 a Pyroar on a switch in. Uh, Togekiss should be able to take a hit fine if it's max HP. If it's not bulky, if it's not as bulky, then two Fire Blasts do it, but... I think he knows that it would weaken this thing over time. There's the Fire Blast. And now we get to see what he would want to go into. Oh, the Arcanine is the obvious choice. Oh, goes into this. I think my Pyro, yeah. I, I feel like this thing wants to Thunder Wave me, and I and I feel like my Pyro is too big to want to give up right now. Mm. 
But now actually there's no impediment at all to just going for Thunderbolt. Uh, I'm curious to see whether he goes for the Dazzling Gleam or Baton Pass. Goes for the Air Slash. So this is a remarkably free Thunderbolt, even though that did a whole lot of damage. I'm afraid that I still might lose to the Faramosa. What I think, though, is that the Coma O, my my, the fact that my Coma O is as healthy as it is, means that I I always have one final option because he does he does really want to go for the drill run, right? So it looks like my Coma O still has one hit it can take in him, and I can probably Oko back. So Coma O would be the answer to potentially staying alive in this match. But if I play too loosely with it, then that'd be really bad. That'd be really bad, straight up. We avoid the Air Slash. It is a Scarf Togekiss. And yeah, that's a straight Oko. I mean, that's unfortunate. It, no, there's no way that makes it not unfortunate because um, an Air Slash, it looks like, would have put me in range of Ice Shard. And now it looks like he has to... Yeah, it also lets him bring this in. What do I do here? I feel like I just stay in here, right? See, my, my big thinking here is that... Um, would expect me to want to go into Electros to eat up the drill run. So maybe he's going for a U-turn here. I think he goes for U-turn here. I think he goes for U-turn here. I'm hard calling a U-turn here. And the thing is that if he had landed that air slash, then U-turn would have KO'd. Or anything would have KO'd. Goes for the drill run. That is wild. That is wild. But, what that means is that Como can come in. And I have to attack with, with, um, with Como. But Dragon Claw should 100% take this thing out. Unfortunately, Drain Punch... Drain Punch might do it, but that's if, if it, that's if it's a no bulk. Um, that's if it's a no bulk. Uh, Faramosa. I have to just click Dragon Claw. Going in Arcanine would be far too aggressive of a play because it, it would allow me. Goes for the U turn. Interesting. Okay. So now what this actually means, right, is that if, if I'm able to take out this Arcanine here, then if I'm able to take out this Arcanine here, and I'm going to super watch this, this damage, so I'm what, 40% right now? 40% down to, yeah, okay. I wonder if I should Autotomize here. I wonder if I should autotomize here. No, I probably shouldn't. I think I have to take this thing out right now. I think I have to take this thing out right now. This thing is... What? Oh, this is a very fast Arcanine. Yeah, I think I might just... Mm. This is intentionally not a very fast Como. -oh, but, uh, yeah, those two misses might... Mm. 
I don't know what to do about that. I don't know what to think about that. I mean, what I should have done is what I should have done is just click automize. Um, to maybe try to deal with the pheromones. I try I try to build a much bulkier Como than I would normally because um, after an automize, I outspeed his team naturally. Let's go into this thing. Oh yeah, Icicle Crash super takes me out. Icicle Crash super takes me out. I think now... Yeah, now I for sure just give up my Electros. For now, I for sure give up my Electros. Like, I don't think that's a particularly difficult play. So now, let me see. That should, yeah, that should allow me to go into. That should allow me to go into this thing, right? And does it matter if I get a shift here up? I don't think it does. What are the mons that he has left? I know he has a Pheromosa. I know he has a Pheromosa. And the Agron. Okay. The Agron. Yeah, I have to click Dazzling Gleam here. He probably just knocks off my leftovers. I think I might have just choked it with that one. No, my Como o should be healthy enough to still take a hit. My Como o should be healthy enough to still take a hit. Honestly, what I think I have to do now, what I think I have to do now, is hopefully take this thing out. Goes for the Cycle Crash. Wow, if this thing takes me out, then no, it can't, right? Yeah, okay. So, what I think has to happen now is, um, I get taken out by Fairmosa, I go into Coma o I go into Coma o and then I have to double into, then I have to double into... Pyroar. Because I think he knows that Como should take a hit still. I think that has to be the way that this happens, unless he misses Drill Run, which would be an insane amount of bad luck. That'd be just an insane amount of bad luck. There's without Jump Kick, does land it. So, that really makes me think that, the th that this thing is banded. High jump kick. High jump kick takes out Como. I think that's it. Unless he misses, or unless I magically put protect on this thing. I think I choked this game away. I think this thing is banded. Oh no, it's life orb. It's life orb. But regardless, life orb takes me out. Life Orb, 100% takes me out.
Yeah, there's no way that I win unless he misses. Goes for an Ice Beam. Do we take that? We don't take that. Okay. Yeah, okay. We take another loss. I think at this point, even Ice Beam takes me out after these rocks, but... Man... This was... This did not go my way. He should just go for Ice Beam, because I think that that takes me out at this point, but... This is a brutal one. This is a rough one to lose. I think... I think I played way too... scared. He made a couple of... just very... Strong plays against me. Made some very aggressive plays against me, and I think it just gave him the advantage against me. I played too scared. I definitely, definitely think that I did. 100%. Um, for sure, I think I should have played my tentacle better. I think if I had been able to keep rocks off the field, that would have helped me out so, so much. And, I mean, in all honesty, I didn't know that uh, Faramosa got drill run. I thought that my Pheromo that my Magirna was was a perfect counter to the Pheromosa. I maybe I knew that it got drill run at some point, but if I did, I forgot. Um, I was bailed out quite a bit by by some um, by some dodges, and I probably should have played my Como a lot more aggressively. But with that, that's going to be for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be back really, really soon with uh, more weeks of the PCL. And um, hopefully we can salvage the season. We can do something with it. But um, with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys again. Out.